My name is Irina Otelea. I am an offshore installation manager on behalf of EMBW, working on the turbine installation for projects Hose and Albatros. Irina Wilker Otelea is at the forefront of offshore wind technology in Germany. The ENBW engineer oversees the installation of gigantic wind turbines out in the deep waters of the Baltic Sea and North Sea. Offshore wind is a very important part of the future, if not one of the largest part of the future when it comes to renewable energy. Reaping wind at sea is still a new business in the renewable energy sector. But as countries look for new, clean sources of energy, offshore wind could become a cornerstone of the world's power supply. The International Energy Agency reckons offshore wind could become a $1 trillion industry by 2040. When I'm finished with this project, I will have worked on about 200 turbines, which is, uh, which is great. Wilke Otelea says the industry has matured a lot over the past 10 years. This is driven by steep cost reductions, supportive government policies and improved technology. I think uh, right now we have around um, 1,500 wind turbines installed offshore generally in Germany and only our wind park in the North Sea, Hosen Albatros, is able to provide a city of the size of Munich with, uh, with electricity. Europe has pioneered offshore wind technology. The UK currently has the biggest capacity, but experts say China is likely to have the largest offshore wind fleet by 2025. In September, oil and gas giant BP entered the offshore wind market with a $1.1 billion deal to buy 50% stakes from Norway's Equinor. As part of the deal, BP and Equinor agreed to develop offshore wind projects in the US. The thing that excites me the most about, about this movement is the fact that we are able to you know, just have our direct contribution to creating a resource, a renewable resource that we all need. So it's a positive footprint that we live in this world. For now, Wilke Otelea is a woman working in a male-dominated field. The International Renewable Energy Agency says the sector employs about 32% of women, far lower than in other industries. When I first started as a shipbuilding engineer, it was quite rare to have uh, other women around and, uh, you know, women engineers. But I think um, the tide is turning and everybody realizes that it's just a matter of what it is that you want to do and what it is that you think you're capable to do rather than you're not able to do something. So I hope I could be an inspiration for other women. I'm just a living example that it's possible to do whatever you want if you want to do it.